Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been a short little while since we've been together. Life's been a little crazy, but it is springtime and I start getting the crafting bug. And as I do this stuff, I think I'm gonna share it with you guys um, because I have so much fun doing it. So um, I did get a Cricut machine last year for my birthday and just started playing around with it. So I managed to make vinyls all over the place with how cute this little bunny is on my candle holder. We're gonna put that out for Easter. I've got vinyls on candles. I can't stop cutting up bunnies. Oh my gosh, I'm so silly. If you guys use the Cricut machine, let me know what your favorite thing to do is. I'm starting to look at all the YouTube videos and teach myself, um, but it's a lot of fun. And I just love this little guy, he's so cute. Anyways, today we're gonna be making my famous dish towel pillow covers. And remember last year we did this one, right, together? I was in the Dollar Tree today picking up some stuff for Easter and I found this adorable dish towel. So I went ahead and bought four. I didn't know if I was gonna need two or four, but they're a dollar, 25 each now. So I went ahead and got, got four of them just to make sure I had enough. And I'm glad I did because um, I'll show you what I ended up doing, but you need two uh, dish towels per pillow cover. And you know, like I said, you can just grab a throw pillow around the house, measure it and cut it and glue it together. I have these two little guys that I'm gonna add. So at the end of the day, it'll look like this. This guy will be here and then this guy will be right behind it. Um, super cute, and then you take them off and you store them until the next season. So without further ado, let me show you what I did. So I took the two dishcloths here and I just lined them up and then you're gonna take your pillow insert or if you're just gonna stuff stuff, because you can actually take Publix bags and stuff them inside this if you don't have a pillow insert, which is super easy because then you just cut it to whatever size you need. So don't overthink it. You can stuff this stuff with whatever you want. They're mostly just decorative um, throw pillows, but I had this little guy. So I measured it and then I drew a line where I wanted to cut it. So I wanted to leave about an inch extra because I'm gonna fold it over and make a little nice um, hem on it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pop in the Velcro strip. And I buy this stuff by the foot you can get it on Amazon. Um, it makes it real easy. So we're gonna go cut it first. So I'm gonna cut it, like I said, about an inch longer than my pillow because it's gonna be a raw edge and I'm gonna to wanna to roll it up a little bit and make a hat. So I'm just cutting through. I need better scissors, guys. Oh, I'm a crafter with bad scissors. That's all right. It's like a cobbler with no shoes, right? Now I'm gonna just take the raw edge and I'm gonna rub a bead of glue gun I buy these fabric glue sticks when I'm working with fabric just because when they dry they're not so hard like a regular glue gun but once again I've done these pillow covers with um, regular glue gun sticks so it doesn't really matter. Oh, what you're into. So you just roll over the top there and you're creating a hem. Do the same with the bottom. Just running a straight line across the bottom. I'm just gonna take my fingers and fold over the top. And now we just start to seal this thing up. So I'm gonna run a bead of glue right at the top. I'm just gonna lay it right on top. And press it. Okay, so I've got the top here. Just like that. Boom, 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 boom. And I've got my sides here. Other side. Pull the line down. Like I'm going to take my Velcro stick, strip, um, strip, not stick, strip, and I'm literally going to just run a strip of this glue down the middle. on the 
inside of the pouch. And then I'm gonna take the top part of the Velcro strip, the little paper that protects all the glue, and I'm gonna pull that off. Once again, we're gonna run a strip of glue on the top of the Velcro strip. Okay. And we're gonna stick it down like so. for a second. Open up my velcro strip here. Just like that, you guys, we've got a pillow. How cute is this? I love the colors. Okay, now let's slide the pillow in here. If you're like most crafters, you are not patient. You want to get, get it done immediately. Just wait until everything dries really good. But. Close my Velcro in here. Velcro it up. Just like this. And voila! I got myself two Easter pillowcases. Okay, I absolutely love this. I can't stand it. I've got my new Cricut cutter. I've got my little buddy here. Some new Easter pillows for this Sunday. Make it super festive. And you know, when you take them off, then you just fold them and put them in a drawer. Um, like I've mentioned in the past, I have St. Patrick's Day ones and give thanks for the fall time. I'm going to be on the lookout at Dollar Tree for some red, white, and blue ones so I can do Memorial Day, Fourth of July, um, Labor Day, that type of stuff. So I need some red, white, and blue. Um, uh, dish towels, so I'll be on the lookout for that. But I wanted to share this with you guys really fast. Have fun, go get yourself some dish towels, and have a wonderful holiday coming up.